So I want to take a moment and talk about the rocks we see in our first sloth sequence, which is called the sock sequence. Now, here's the beautiful part. All of our transgressive, regressive cycles, all of the sloth sequences, they're all going to have the same rocks in the same order. And the beautiful part is, you know this. We learned this with facies. So let's talk about what we should see. So let's make this generic here for a second. Let's talk about what rocks we should see in a transgressive sequence. So remember, in a transgressive sequence, I'm going to start here. All right, so here we are. Our land, right, it goes down. So let's say here's our water level at time one. So here I have the beach. And remember a little bit further out is the shallow marine, then the reef, then the deep marine. Hopefully you're remembering all this. So our next time, sea level rises. Here we are. The beach migrates inland, remember? So here we have the beach. In the shallow marine, reef, deep marine. Let's say, let's make this land higher. Let's make our water come in even higher now. Here we go. Remember our beach moves further inland. So here's our beach, our shallow marine, our reef, and our deep marine. So what should I see in that transgressive sequence? Well, here we go. Right? What I should see, right, is remember at the bottom, we have our beach, then we have our shallow marine, and then we have our reef. If it kept transgressing, we might see the deep marine on top. So remember, if we translate this into rocks, what I should see is sandstone, right, green or brown shale, and limestone. Hopefully you remember all of this from our discussion on facies. Remember I told you this was an incredibly important concept? Well, now let's take a look at the sock sequence. So, remember, we just figured out that all transgressive sequences should look like this, right? We should see sandstone, green or brown shale, and then we should see limestone. Well, if we look at the sock sequence itself, what we see in the sock sequence, lo and behold, the bottom is called the tapete sandstone. Then we should expect to see a shale next, and we do. We have the bright angel shale. And then, right, we should expect to see a limestone, and we do. We have the mauve limestone. So, right, check, check, and check. We have a transgressive sequence. Now, the great thing is when we move on to our next sequence, the Tippecanoe, or the Cascasia, or the Apscarosa, they're all going to follow the same trend. Sandstone, shale, limestone. We're going to see the same rocks over and over. The only thing that's going to be different is they're going to have different names. But you notice, sandstone, shale, limestone. So it's really important. If you understand how a transgressive sequence works, you should be able to expect to see certain rock types. You can predict when you go out in the field what you should be able to see.